So I just have one of the, the jump rings that I looped over another one. And then what I like doing is I like applying some pressure. Perfect. So it's a little messy, but you can tell, and I did this on purpose, that the electrode is not perfectly sharp, nor is it very clean. So we're going to sharpen that up and then try this again. So as you can tell, that is much sharper and cleaner. So whenever in doubt, I always resharpen the, the electrode so it's nice and sharp. And so I always test it by, since I don't have it next to the microscope, is I kind of just tack my skin a little bit. And if it pulls it, then I know that we're in good shape. So I'm at four watt, watt seconds. And again, I'm going to rotate it and then just pinch it. And then bring it nice and close. Oh yeah, that's, that's real nice. The main difference on all of that was the sharpness of the electrode. And just for kicks and giggles, I'm going to put another one. Beautiful. And that should work with all of them. Now, if we're talking about something like this, like if this chain were to break and you wanted to repair that, let's just see if we have a broken end. We don't. But... technique would apply. So this is just a smaller ground clip. I prefer it over the larger one because it's it pinches flat and so you're able to get some of these uh, daintier chains hooked up. And so we're going to apply the same principles but we're going to bottom it out as far as energy. And hopefully you can see it in the, in the screen. But again, I'm going to isolate just the one. Apply some pressure just so that we're good. Perfect. Now that wasn't broken, but I, I was able to do a weld in under the microscope looks real good. So if it wasn't, so if it was broken, that would have joined it together. So three watt seconds for this little small chain, four watt seconds for your jump rings that are just slightly larger. Oh, it looks like we have another one. So let's, let's close that one up for you. So again, we're going to take it and if we just clip right there, kind of helps control. It's a little off as well, so we're going to bend that into place, I think. Now I'm being a little lazy because I, I do have tools, but for the sake of just bending it a little bit, it wasn't worth it for me to walk across. And that right there, just do a third one just in case. Yeah, that third one is not necessary. Okay, but nice, smooth joint jump ring. It's incredibly strong.